At first, it's hard to make out. A speck on the horizon. You take a closer look. A boat. A flag. An arm waving. A crowd gathers along the beach. This is the east coast of Malaysia. Final destination, thousands of refugees fleeing Vietnam. Many don't make it this far. They're attacked by pirates, drowned, or starved to death. These have made it. But will the Malaysian police turn them away? Or will they be stoned by local villagers? The crowd waits to see how many will survive this time. Only a few fishermen helped the boat people ashore. We joined in. As far as we could tell, no one drowned coming ashore. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And just for that, some were grateful. Thank you, no, no one. No. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very, very much, thank you very much. Do you think the people of the United States will accept Vietnamese refugees? Um, in certain cases, I think, I think that they will accept. In certain cases? Which cases? Uh, those who have families there and uh, those who have worked for the Americans and those who have been uh, in the army. What about the others who have never worked for Americans, who don't have families there? What happens to them? I think that the, the Americans will, will make a choice and receive them all. We'll those take... who, those who have, haven't been accepted by other countries. The United States will take all? Yes. You really believe that? I hope. Before we left, the people of Palau Bidong asked us if they could send a message to the people of the United States. We, the three members of the, uh, the Vietnamese Refugee Committee here, in, on behalf of 23,000 refugees, we would like to give this message. It's only for humanitarian reasons, because we are living in very terrific conditions, and we hope that we will get the, the, all the help of the people and the government of the United States. Please help us to survive so that one day we can live in freedom again as you all. The United States are our, our only hope. also given personal messages to take back and at almost every turn there was always someone with another letter in all we collected almost a thousand pieces of mail and even as we left there was just one more <laughs> 